Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. This is Cordosis. It's an indie horror game. Today we're playing this game in a VR headset. I'm using Prey Dogs UE VR mod. This game is not available on Steam. It's from itch.io. I'll leave a link to the game below. It's only about six, seven pounds and already in the headset, this looks amazing. The uh, 3D is stunning so far. All I know about the game, it's a horror game and it's based on aliens. Two of my favourite genres. So let's dive in. I'm going to um, check out the options. I've not changed anything in the UEVR menu. Um, I put the virtual desktop fix on. I still don't know what that does. I did the set standing height, set standing origin and recenter view. I think I'm going to play the game with the Xbox controller. I do tend to favour to play horror games in UEVR with the uh, with the gamepad. It's a lot less fiddly for me, and uh, you get to use the uh, the D-pad a lot as well. Okay, let me check out the options menu. Audio visual settings. I'm going to leave this all alone for now. I might turn the grain off and motion blur off as well. Uh, let's play the game, see what happens. Okay, a new game. I don't know what to expect. Some lights. Is that a UFO? While well, UAP UFO sightings in Hungary have been scarce, with only a few reported cases, an overwhelmingly majority of approximately 90% of these sightings have been concentrated in a specific remote rural area. These lights in 3D look really, really creepy. As a Hungarian, I've always found it intriguing how little is known about this region of my country. With only a few small villages scattered throughout, it remains relatively unknown. Their stories served as my primary inspiration during the development of this game. Don't forget, this is an indie game. Am I being probed already? Some really cool effects with the dust particles as well. Oh, the lights. Um, this looks amazing. This is so good. It looks so real. Wow. Okay, what's happening? Playing these games in VR is like having the best fun fair ride ever. That city outside looks amazing. Amazing effects. Oh, don't do it. Don't jump. No, don't jump. It's a long way down. It's a very long way down. You only get the sensation in VR. 
No, go back inside, please. This is scary. Don't fall off there. No! What are you doing? I don't look. What's that noise? No! Oh shit! <laughs> My stomach. Oh, there we are. Somebody save her! Look at the rain! I'm already blown away. The art style, the effects, the atmosphere. Did we die? Are we dead yet? Hello? Did we get saved by aliens? I can hear music. Oh! Okay. Okay, this is like Pacific Drive. Okay, let me just check the recording for you guys. I'm loving the effects. Oh, I was too busy looking at the light flickering. Okay, how's the uh, recording for you guys? Is that smooth? So it might go a bit juddery when I move the headset a lot, but inside the headset, this is super smooth. The 3D looks stunning. I've not had to change any of the graphic settings. I'm running this game on a 3080 Ti graphics card. Okay, we're moving move the car look at the wind okay please be no trains there's a really cool effect with the windscreen as well I can see all the uh, dust particles where it's been wiped it's surround sound so it sounds like I'm actually in the car the UEVR mod it's constantly surprising me. It's so good guys, it really really is. And if you've been playing the uh, Pacific Drive demo, this game feels very similar and it just works out the box. I've not had to tweak anything. I might need to tweak the uh, camera. If I move the thumbstick on the right up and down, yeah that's going to move the camera look. I need to fix that. So let me go into the UEVR menu and I'm going to make sure that the camera's stabilized with the horizon. So go into camera and we need to select decouple pitch enabled. So now when I move the right thumbstick, the camera's not going to move. There we go. That solved my issue. So now this is like a proper VR game look. I can move my head. To look around it's all in six off I can look out the window I can look behind me oh I'm in a camper van let's go sounds so good You know when you're in a real car and you get that sensation of the engine inside the actual car itself? I'm getting that right now. Everything about this game, the sound effects, the graphics, the atmosphere is adding to the immersion. And my brain thinks it's real. Some of the graphics look a little bit blurry but I can change that. If I go into the UEVR menu go to advanced options go to consoles CVARs scroll down I can turn up the sharpness of the game lock here tone mapper dot sharpen if I move this it's going to make the game a lot sharper for me that's really sharp now that's crystal clear look at the trees moving and everything don't forget this is an indie game and I do believe it's been developed by one person. What's 
that say? I can't read that. Oh, so I can move the menus with the right thumbstick. Look, that's moving the menus up and down. I can read now. Something about driving. You might be able to see that um, prompt on the screen normally. For me, it was below my vision. Some games like this, when you play with the UVR mod, when you go to like open the doors, the cursor might not be in the right position. Again, just move the right thumbstick up and down until you get the cursor in the right position. What's that red light there? Like a little red light, look. Okay, is this a tunnel? The car sound effects are amazing. I don't recall these sound effects when I played Pacific Drive. Not to the extent of this surround sound. Okay, it's getting a bit foggy. I'm going to be stopping and starting because I want to take it all in. Those red lights are just a reflection from my car, so I don't hit the trees. Why am I stopping? The car stopped. You can't physically do this in a normal flat game. You can't move forwards and look out the window. Okay, so we can go into the back of the uh, camper van, look. What's that? So I'm moving my right thumbstick up and down look so that the cursor is over the object. Her stuff. She was always crafting, always had some project on the go. This controller, well, it's the only thing she left before she disappeared. Oh! <laughs> that made me jump it. It popped right out into my face. So this is some sort of controller look. That's one big giant controller. It's like a steam deck. Okay, we can pick it up. To equip the controller, use the D-pad, then look down to use it. Okay. That's right in my face. That's really close though. I can see some instructions. Are they on the screen? Yeah, those instructions that you can see on screen are right down below me. So I'm having to use the uh, thumbstick to bring them into view. What's that? Take a flashlight. This place looks so cool. Oh, flashlight, okay. Can we go outside? We can. Oh, the sound effects. Okay, this, so this is my camper van. The tank is empty, I need some gas. And this is running super smooth. So we need to find some gas. Can we run? We can run. Hold down the left thumbstick to run. Episode 1. The home. This is really creepy. So well done. Golden gasoline and service. Look at the leaves coming down.
And these types of games I love to just explore. Something's dripping here. Open. It doesn't look open. Fuel. So this is a petrol station. There should be fuel here somewhere. Nice. Okay, any fuel in here? I'm making a mess. We're looking for a fuel can. I don't think there's anything in here. Look at this lake. That's one creepy lake. Oh wow. Okay, I'm trying to open this gate but it's not letting me. I did see a light around here though. found a back entrance. Hello? Hello? Just take it and leave. Oh, hello there, hand. Thank you for the fuel, mate. So this is too close, this is really close to my face, this uh, controller thing. Okay, we can head back to the car now. I'm going now mate, cheers. Okay, run. There's something over here, look. Okay. What's that noise? Lots of weird noises in here. I need some fuel, don't I? I wish I could use the uh, D-pad just to move through the inventory. I'm struggling to um, actually grab hold of that. Okay, there we go. I figured it out. Is it working? What the hell's on the roof?
Okay, this needs to be that way. We're missing a handle. An old piano. Looking for a handle. Okay, who's on the roof? Nobody here. Some tripods. What's going off here? They're trying to capture something on film, look. like a signal. Okay, this is that door we could not get into. down here What's happening? Oh, shit. Okay. The left thumbstick will zoom me in and out of the computer. Okay, we have the part. We need to get back outside. Hello? You shouting? It can be really fiddly getting the items. Okay, that should work. I think it's working. Fill with gas. Okay, we have some fuel. I think we're going to need some modders from the community to make some scripts to make the uh, ability to grab items a lot easier. I've been in the options and there's a way to show the pointer on the screen but 
I can't see the pointer. I'm struggling to find items in my inventory to move them. Refueling. Okay, we need to head towards the uh, church. Okay, that took me ages. Down this path we go. I do love the colour of the sky. There's a light. Oh! Okay, looking for a church. Lots of buildings here. I can hear the church. I can hear the bells. Park the van somewhere safe. Okay, part of the van. Wow, look at this place. I can hear an alarm somewhere. This is creepy. Loving the atmosphere. It's 
something in there. There's things moving around in the buildings to my left and right. Tunnel. Can't be tunnels in VR. Oh, it's a wall. The first wall. I have to get in somehow. Creepy. I'm in the corn. I can hear weird noises. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Oh, what the hell? That's a weird deer. Well, there's some sort of path here. And a house. Those sounds. Need to find a way in. I'm inside. Something red flashing down there. Okay, so I guess we need to move some barrels, don't we? Oh, there's a hole here. Mind the barrels. Somebody's walking above me. And it's making 
prowling noises. Step into the light, Caroline. This feels like someone's tried to tunnel away from the horror. There's cobwebs down here. Really cool effect with the uh, claustrophobic. Am I back outside? Back outside. What the hell? Do I head towards the lights? I've watched too many horror films where they're in the cornfields. It's like a power station. Okay, let me follow this pipeline. More lights. Okay, this is like a marsh. A red light. Hold on. That's not good. Rocks are floating in front of me. Sticks and stones. There's something red over there. Oh! Hello? Oh! The sound effects! What the hell was that? Oh! Shit! It's amazing! I come in peace! Take me to your leader! That's so cool! Am I going to die here? That was awesome. Oh, it's dark. I can just about make out something over here. So where are we going? Do I follow the light? Oh, 
Oh, what's that? Did we enter Stranger Things? What's happening? not happy oh hello I can see an alien close encounters of a third kind I believe I'm in awe. This is amazing. I see dead people. Oh, we're going in. I really wish that the developer could see their game in a VR headset. Episode 2 I'm now getting some alien isolation vibes. Where do we go? Where am I? More caves. We have a gun. Oh look at that, there's this weird creature in here. My advice to people who get stuck playing this with UEVR, if you get stuck trying to grab an item for example, save the game, shut down your VR headset and play the game flat to get past the part uh, where you're having to move objects around in the inventory. I found that was the best way for me to uh, progress in this game. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.